Hey blog buddies, how are you doing? Um, today I want to talk about coming out. Um, you know the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras is coming up next week and um, it's in the papers at the moment. Um, gay rights, gay marriage, all of these things are sort of coming back into the media and um, coming back into the debate. And uh, an Australian footballer, Jason Ackermanis, recently made some comments about um, the British cricketer Stephen Davies, who's recently come out. And he said, you know, why bother? Why would you bother to come out? Nobody cares. Um, I get a lot of questions on the blog and through Formspring about coming out um, from young gay people. And the questions they ask are things like, when is the right time? You know, how do you know? What if you're worried about how people re will react? And those kinds of things. And so these kinds of comments you know, need to be addressed because, you know, it's, it's important to, it's important to discuss these things and it's important to sort of answer negative messages in the media with positive ones. Um, you know, coming out is an intensely personal experience and, you know, by saying, when Jason Ackermanis says, you know, why bother coming out, you know, nobody cares, he's missing the point. You know, coming out is not um, something that you do for other people. Coming out is not something you do to make the people around you happy. It's not something that you do to um, sort of draw attention to yourself or make a statement publicly. Coming out is an intensely personal decision and it's something that you make within you for yourself. Coming out is about living your life with honesty and integrity and pride. It's about saying, you know, I believe in who I am and who I am is okay and, you know, this is me and if you don't like it, well, then that's okay because I'm me and I'm being honest with myself. You know, it's so hard for people to come out already and these kinds of messages just make it even more difficult. You know, saying, why bother, who cares, you know, Ideally, if we live in an ideal world, nobody would care, but that's not the point. That's not why you do it. Um, when I came out, I did it because I wanted to be able to be honest about who I was with the people around me. I didn't do it to make them happy. I did it to make me happy. And, you know, that's, that's one of the most important things, I think, in coming out. It's not about trumpeting your sexuality. It's not about you know, shouting it from the top of your roof. It's not about walking around and saying, hi, I'm Shannon the Gay Guy. Coming out is about being able to freely express yourself and freely um, believe in who you are and freely love who you want to love and to be honest and to be accepting of yourself. That's what it's about. And um, if this guy has chosen to come out, that's a very courageous decision but it's a decision that he's made for himself. And um, we as a gay community can hold these people up as, you know, um, people to aspire to, role models. But at the end of the day, the decision they've made has been for themselves. And it's, in, uh, like I say, it's a very personal decision. So for anybody out there, for any of you who are thinking about coming out, who see comments like this, like, why bother? And, you know, see comments like, from this guy, like, stay in the closet if you're a sports person. You know, take it with a grain of salt. You know, make a decision that is right for you. These people don't know you. They're not living your life. They're not living your story. You are. And you need to be strong and courageous. You already are strong and courageous. You're on this earth and you're a gay person. And that takes courage to live every day surrounded by these kinds of meatheads. You know, but you can do it. And um, if you're thinking about coming out, you know, I wish you luck. And um, that's my thoughts on it. What do you think, guys? Leave a comment, um, leave a response, and um, tell me, you know, do you think these guys, Jason's comments are fair, or do you think that he should, you know, sit on it? See you later, guys. Bye.